Hi everyone, it's travel time. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my flight from Melbourne to Frankfurt on a Qantas business class flight operated by Emirates on an Airbus A380. The total flight time from Melbourne to Frankfurt usually takes between 24 and 28 hours. Mine is a 24-hour flight including the stopover at Dubai Airport. The first leg was a 14-hour flight from Melbourne to Dubai, then a 3-hour stopover and then a 7-hour flight from Dubai to Frankfurt. So we'll start at the Melbourne Airport. This is the International Departure Terminal, which is Terminal 2. Like many other airlines, business class ticket holders have their own lanes for checking in, and they are usually pretty quiet, as you can see. Part of the business class ticket is a complimentary access to the Emirates Lounge. This is one of the things that I really look forward to when I travel. I just love staying in the lounge. I like the food, the drinks, and I like to relax while waiting to board. So now I have boarded the plane and this is the business class cabin. Each of the seats has its own onboard entertainment where you can watch movies, listen to music, podcasts, news and even play games. There's a pretty large compartment next to your seat. You can put in your blanket, pillows, and pretty much anything you want to chuck inside. And this is in addition to your overhead compartment, so space for your stuff is not an issue. You also have your own personal bar. Not huge of course, but nice to have. Business class ticket holders are handed with a fast track pass and this is for a quicker journey through immigration at Dubai airport. During takeoff or landing or even mid-flight you can switch your screen to the camera attached to the tail of the aircraft so you can have a view of what's happening outside. Emirates has a pretty wide selection of meals and drinks. This is another thing that I like in business class. There's lots of food.
there's also a handheld tablet per seat and you can control most of the functions of the entertainment system using this tablet. The seat is also a massage chair and you can also control the settings using the touch screen or the tablet. Emirates has an entertainment lounge at the back of the plane where you can socialize with other business class or first class passengers if you like. Unfortunately at this time there was no one around. And of course, there's a bartender to assist you if you like some food or drinks. Or if you just like someone to have a chat with. We're about to land and again you can turn on the tail camera to see the landing from the outside. Welcome to Dubai International Airport. Now I have to find my connecting flight, but no rush, I have a few hours to spare. Dubai Airport is huge. We actually disembarked onto the tarmac as there is no available gate to accommodate the plane. We got picked up by a shuttle bus and the trip from the tarmac to the gate took us almost an hour. That's how big the airport is. And of course my favorite part of the trip. No journey is complete without visiting the lounge. The second leg of my trip is the flight from Dubai to Frankfurt. It's still on business class, still operated by Emirates. The carrier is still the same, it's the Airbus A380, so everything about the cabin is the same. So we can skip most of the things I took videos of. Finally, I arrived at Frankfurt Airport. The weather was fine, the skies were clear, though a bit cold at 2 degrees Celsius. It's December, so it's winter season. In Germany, unlike in Australia, you drive on the right side of the road, so the car's steering wheel is on the left. It was my first time driving in Germany, so a little tutorial from the rental company guy definitely helps.
that's it for now and thank you for joining me on my trip. Please like and subscribe and feel free to type in your comments. I'll see you again on my next video.